A new miniature game came out this month, and I painted a whole lot of minis. So for those of you who are not familiar, Games Workshop came out with a game called Age of Sigmar Warcry, and I have been posting a lot of content about it lately. With a brand new miniature game, you tend to have to paint a number of models to be able to play. And this is essentially what I did this month. During the month of August, I ended up painting a total of 54 models, which is just a few models less than what I did to start the year in January. August has been a huge bounce back for my painting goal of 365 models this year. The only models I painted this month that did not have to do with Warcry was a 3D printed piece of terrain from Printable Scenery, and it is a little too big to show off in my light box. With the release of this new game, I went all in and it seemed to pay off in regards to my painting goals. At this point, I need to paint at least 24 models per month by January 1st of 2020. I thoroughly enjoyed painting up these models, and the crazy part is that I'm not even done with them yet. With all of the terrain I painted up this past month, I implemented simple techniques, ran through almost two paint pots of contrast paints, and took these ideas and used them on the individual figures. This month was all about getting decent quality models on the table to use in my games. At times I cut corners, didn't edge highlight in areas where maybe I should have, and stopped painting sections of the model when I felt they were good enough. Now I don't take these practices as faults or failures on my end, I enjoy painting up a model to my painting standards, but when you want to prepare a warband for an army for a game you are playing next week, you gotta go quick, and know where you can cut corners while still producing a solid looking piece. I personally don't think any models I've painted this month have turned out bad, even though some were a little iffy at the start, at least in my opinion. I worked through things about the models I didn't like, and in the end everything turned out great. So if I could offer up any advice for myself and those of you who are looking to paint up models quickly, if something looks bad, the color may be off, or it isn't turning out the way you envisioned in your head, continue painting for an hour or so. Push on and don't strip the model and start over. Commit to what you have been working on, and even in the end, if it looks like hot garbage, you learned a lesson. I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, happy gaming. <laughs>